So underground a, of a, a church for Jewish people, uh, the a government found a tunnel, underground tunnel. They don't know what it is for. And let's watch. chair The discovery of a secret tunnel eventually led to a massive brawl inside a 100-year... And then when the police enter a, uh, a, a Jewish prayer house and they discover more tunnels, uh, I'm not really sure what is going on. Uh, there is al already uh, uh, media propaganda going on about uh, uh, a lot of things happening in the news anyway but wh why do they why is there a tunnel underground and why why are the police get involved and this is a cigarette society uh, you know a lot of these small uh, religious communities like Mormons Jews uh, Scientology, Scientologist, they are very close uh, community. I'm thinking because I saw a inside the tunnel in this one. You're gonna see uh, there is a mattress, small mattress for children, and also there is a chair. So I'm thinking maybe they have these tunnels, uh, like for old old tradition to. Uh, like a jail for children to keep them away from social media from the modern influence of the modern society that 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 comes to my mind and then the second thought was maybe they have this tunnel for uh, protections in case of their in case of a terrorist attack uh, they wanted to be able to uh run uh, half a escape route and but this doesn't look like uh it looked like someone is living in the tunnel you see all these chairs and and the mattresses uh, and uh it could it could it be a a some sort of uh they holding somebody there or, or they have the, like like, you know, like old tradition have uh, strict rules uh, where they, they are basically acting like the government. They have their own jails. Is it possible they're keeping someone there without their uh, without that person's consent? Are they using the tunnel as a prisoner, as a prison jail? Uh, I'm just thinking uh, without any nefarious intent. Uh, or they could, it could be that, it could be uh, that they are using the tunnel uh, as a result of going from one church to another. Maybe that's like a religious uh, uh, traditions, but it doesn't make any sense. Why don't you? Why can you just use uh, walk walk around like everybody else to get to from one church to another? So these tunnels either is for security reason. Uh, or there is some nefarious uh, activity going on. I'm hoping it's not going to be some sexually related things. The, the, the kids, or women, or uh, young people are not kidnapped and keeping the tunnels for the purpose of sexual gratifications or a, uh, just uh, for people from this culture 
old traditions you know a lot of old traditions uh, have uh, where they keep their children as a punishment in the tunnel inside the tunnel as a prisoner they uh, basically hold them there with a hold them there and and abuse the children uh, through uh, by beating them up by starvations and uh, hopefully they don't find bodies of children there and i can't see anything good coming out of found in a tent uh, found in these kind of things under uh, a ground uh, and i'm hoping this will not gonna be something bad because there is always already uh, really bad uh, media frenzy uh, again it's jewish people in the united states uh anti anti-Semitic going on hatred of Jews uh, throughout every traditions if these kind of things pop up it may contribute to more uh people don't know Jewish people don't know their traditions that's why there's a lot of hatred but if you have some mysterious things like this just pop up out of nowhere it may contribute to more uh mysterious uh in the minds of people that are don't know what's happening and even become more suspicious uh, and create more uh propaganda around uh, that will contribute to the hatred of Jews even more but it will be interesting to see who why the police there who called the police uh, there must be uh some kind of uh, something going on somebody want the police there because they they call the police they f- somebody want to be found so it'll be interesting to see what's going on let's play this and you can listen to it world synagogue in brooklyn new york known as 770 the synagogue serves one of the largest groups of hasidic jews in the world now luckily no injuries were reported from this brawl believe it or not but what the hell sparked it what is behind the brawl in the first place what got people so fired up well it was all over the discovery of a tunnel and an attempt you see this is uh, this guy is coming out of the underground tunnel now by authorities to fill it with cement so you see a gentleman coming out of that tunnel wow. this is this isn't in the middle east guys this is in brooklyn okay this is in brooklyn so the tunnel was discovered just last month when neighbors to the synagogue reported suspicious sounds coming underneath their homes they're like there's some stuff happening under our homes we don't know what this is so they reported to the authorities at that point the tunnel is discovered they discovered it in late 2023 um, when a project to upgrade the building um, or the building's plumbing was underway and so neighbors of the building reported suspicious noises under their homes with the discovery of the tunnel many began to fear that it was actually leading to you know an unsafe structure that there was going to be damage to their homes if they didn't do something about these underground tunnels under their homes and by the way the tunnel stretched under at least one other building now following the discovery of the tunnel authorities were called um, and the authorities were there to basically fill the tunnel with concrete and apparently that is what led to the brawl and i want to be clear there's been conflicting reporting on this story when i was reading about it recently there were claims that the tunnel was built specifically to skirt covid orders that closed down religious buildings and that that, you know people wanted to continue worshiping and so they needed a secret pathway or passageway into the synagogue but i don't think that's really what's going on here so why was the secret tunnel built in the first place this is where it gets complicated and i hope that i'm pronouncing names correctly but apparently members of the shabad lubavitch movement um, have reportedly been digging out a tunnel underneath crown heights synagogue for nearly a year the jewish outlet forward reported that it was apparently designed to reach an abandoned women's mikvah or ritual bath around the corner and expand the synagogue now, expand the synagogue is one of the reasons that you might find in, in the reporting on this story. And apparently the riots came amid ongoing disputes over who legally owns the property. So in a statement following the altercation, Shabad Luvicher, Rabbi Moti 
uh, Seligson noted that a sect of the Messianic Chasidim movement has attempted to gain proper control. What's up, everyone? Chuck here, owner and Nick Chasidim movement has attempted to gain proper control of the premises through the New York state court system. Unfortunately, despite consistently prevailing in court, the process has dragged on for years. And Israel National News also reported that authorities found that large underground tunnel in the main study hall, which several students claim to have dug in an attempt to expand the building. Now, people did get arrested for this. It is a confusing story. And to be quite frank, I am completely unclear over what the real reasons for this tunnel happen to be. Again, conflicting reports, but let's get to the arrest. So the synagogue leader, Rabbi Yosef Braun, urged other members of the Jewish community to call them out in all possible ways and strong terms. Ron was horrified that they defaced the shul or synagogue saying to demolish and destroy a shul, never mind the dangerous aspect, never mind the religious aspect is mind boggling. They need to be put in their place, put in their place in so many meanings of the word. And at least a dozen men were taken into custody according to the New York Post, 10 received criminal misdemeanor charges. Another was charged with obstructing government administration and one other received a summons for disorderly conduct, according to sources. So some are arguing that this was really about a property ownership dispute and that uh, there was an effort to expand the property, um, obviously illegally, and that when authorities were called to fill the tunnel with cement, uh, the brawl broke out in response to that because they did not want the authorities to do it. So Waz, as a New Yorker, uh, you noted that there are you know, you, you're involved in some chats with with people, you know, lighting yeah. up messages with this. So what do you think is behind it? You know, man, I, I think people don't have a hard time understanding, especially because, oh. like, I feel like a lot of Jewish related issues have been in the news for a while now. Um, there was, of course, the nonsense with Kanye West and his anti-Semitism, Kyrie Irving stuff in the NBA that was like big in the news. And obviously, the war that's happening on the Gaza Strip um, has been in the news since October 7th. And there's been a lot of stuff in there. And I think a lot of people don't understand that there are there's a diverse set of Jewish people, right? Totally, um, yep. There's like Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David, like very famous Jewish people who you know were, you know, I guess pretty secular Jews, if you will. And then there's these ultra orthodox Hasidic Jews in Brooklyn. And if you have had any experience or contact with that sort of community in Brooklyn, oftentimes they can feel very hermetically sealed. Um, it's, it's almost like it's a city or a colony or a state within the state itself. Like, um, and oftentimes it feels like they play by different rules, right? Um, people will note that they have, you know, public school buses and, um, public schools that are strictly ran and attended to by only Hasidic Jews. Like, there's this idea that they're this extra legal group in the city. Whether that's true or not, right? Um, I don't know. I, I can't pretend to know the ins and outs of how they marry um, their, you know, religious identity in the city of New York with, you know, being part of a state, a city, whatever. I don't know the ins and outs of how that marries each other. But for people from the outside looking in, it's just like, bro, could you imagine anybody else making tunnels <laughs> in New York City? Like, it's just not a thing that you could even think of. And so, you know, I have a hard time believing that the NYPD can even crack this case. Like I said, this is a very close knit, um, closed off community. Like, like uh, this, this is not in, it's in conversation with the rest of the Jewish community in New York, but it's its own separate thing. Do you think that's the reason for the weird conflicting reporting? Because None of this has been clear to me, right? Like I've 
read so many different reports on what transpired and each report seems to have a different reason for why the tunnels were built. And I apologize to our audience for not having the clarity that I typically like to have when I cover these types of stories. But I just felt like it was an interesting enough story to share, which is why I'm doing it. But there's there's a massive downside to the lack of clarity with this story that I've been noticing on social media. I'm wondering if you noticed as well, Waz, where some of the more conspiratorial minded people, people are going to assume some of the worst stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm seeing. Oh, they're, they're rid- housing little kids in there. Yep. They're doing yep. sex, bad sex stuff, blah, 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 blah. I, I, like, I have no reason uh, to no believe idea. that that's the case. Like, that's, you know, that's a crazy leap in my opinion. However, what I will say, because again, of the nature of the com- that community in New York City is it's closed off. So mm-hmm. I'll give you an example. Let's just say the cops bust, you know, some drug ring in Crown Heights, which is a traditionally um, West Indian neighborhood, Caribbean neighborhood, people from the West Indies, and also a lot of Hasidic Jews as well, right? Like they bust some black guys selling drugs. You know what? They have contacts uptown with the Dominicans, with the Cubans or the Colombians, where they might purchase their drugs from. And those people have this, like they have like sort of, other people who might know things about what's happening within that group of people. They is branch that, out. They, that they can talk to. Mm-hmm. Um, they, I, who, how is the NYPD going to figure out what's happening within that community? <laughs> it's not a thing. They do their own thing. It's a very, you know, to the point, honestly, and a lot of people don't notice, like, when, when you're black, you know, a lot of people attribute your problems for being black with you're not doing it like the Jews, which obviously is a very anti-Semitic statement. We know that. But there's this idea that especially black New Yorkers, like if we would just get our together like the Jews got it, they got their own schools, they got their own carpenters, they got their own. This. They do everything together. There's this racist trope that a Jewish dollar takes, you know, 12 years to leave the community. A black dollar leaves the community in four hours, blah, blah, blah. All of these tropes and these stereotypes come out of the fact that that like these folks are doing their own thing. You know, and I, I just I don't I just don't know how you get good reporting from that. You know what? I shouldn't say that. There are a lot of people who have left the community. Documentaries have been made about them. There's been decent reporting about people who have left, and they mm-hmm. can tell you some of the stuff, some of the problems. Oh well, so this is kind of what's going on, and and, and nobody the investigation is still happening, and. Uh, We'll uh, update uh, with more videos if anything come out with more clarity. Uh, Stay tuned.